Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art and today we're going to be making a scratch pastel reveal. So a scratch back reveal is essentially making an oil pastel drawing on the paper, leaving some white patches where we will cover the image in black paint. So where we leave those white patches will become black and we'll scratch off most of that black to reveal the oil pastel underneath. So what this will do is create a really textural look so the image will almost look like it's printed. So the materials that we'll be using are a basic set of oil pastels, wax crayons will also work. We've also got a piece of cartridge paper, so this is about 200 GSM. This is just so the paper doesn't warp when we're painting over it, so you could use other surfaces like card or cardboard. We've also got some black acrylic paint here, so we just need something that's going to create a nice coverage over the oil pastel. It doesn't have to be too high a quality, just to make sure we get a good coverage with one coat. And we've also got some detergent which we'll be mixing with the paint and I'll explain why we're mixing that a little bit later. So to start off with I'm going to draw an oil pastel image on my cartridge paper. I'm not going to do anything too complicated I'm just going to do some flowers in a scene. So with my design I'm not going to cover the page completely I'm going to leave some negative space which will create a lot of interest in the image once we've painted over it and scratched back. So as you're working, you want some parts of the oil pastel to be very thick. This is so that you'll get a nice bold line or bold colour after you scratch back. Some areas you can leave a little bit patchy so you'll get that really nice black textural effect. But for these flowers, I want them to be bold and to stand out so I'm going to use a very thick coating of oil pastel. What you might notice is as I'm working, I'm leaving some white patches in my flowers. This is because I want that black outline to show up once I've painted it over and scratched back. So don't be afraid of leaving a outline area of your flowers or whatever image you're doing. Uh, leaving some white patches later on will create that black outline. Now for the background of this image, all I'm doing is using part of the pastel and rubbing quite gently over the background to create some of the texture as a backdrop. So this oil pastel is white, so you won't see it straight away on the paper, but once we have painted the black over it, it will create a really lovely texture. What I'm also doing is trying to leave a little bit of an outline around the flowers. This will create a really nice bold black line, which will draw out the colors from the flowers once we've done the scratch back. Now we've finished our drawing, so it doesn't look like much now, but with that black outline bringing out those negative spaces of the white, that will make this image look really nice and bold. So what we're going to do now is use a small bowl just to mix some of our black paint with our detergent. So we've got a little squeezy bottle of some detergent in here. So it doesn't take too much at all, especially if you're doing A4 sized images. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a squeeze there. So you can see how much that is. So we're using about a tablespoon of detergent to about a quarter of a cup of paint. So not too much at all. If you don't get the measurements exactly right, you can always go back and do another layer if your detergent makes it a little bit too thin and you shouldn't have too much problem scratching it back if you do add a little bit too much paint. So just give that a good mix, make sure it's all the way through. The reason that we're using detergent mixed with paint is because it will make it much easier to scratch off the oil pastel. So that will make things a bit easier, especially if you're doing this with younger kids who might get tired of scratching back if the paint is a little bit too thick. So that looks nice and consistent. So now what I'm going to do is use the paint to cover the whole picture.
Okay, so now that you've got an even layer of paint over the image, you just need to wait for this to dry. So because it is quite warm, it'll probably take about 10 to 15 minutes to completely dry. You do wanna make sure that it is touch dry because when you're scratching back, if there are parts that are wet, then you'll just end up smudging the paint. So we're going to leave this and come back when the image is dry. Now we're back and we've left our picture to dry for about half an hour. So just give it a bit of a touch with your finger to make sure that it is all completely dry. What I'm going to do is just test a little part of it to make sure that it will come off nicely. That looks like it's working quite well. So the tool that we are using is just a little metal scraper tool. So when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that what you're using doesn't have too sharp of a point, otherwise you can cut into the paper. Something like a butter knife will work well, or even a skewer. So we'll be using this scraper tool to scratch back the rest of the image. so it doesn't take much pressure at all. So very easy for younger kids to do. If you've used scratch paper before, you know it doesn't take much for that surface to be revealed underneath. So as you're scratching, it's up to you how much paint you do want to scratch off. You can intentionally leave some black lines there, otherwise you can scratch back the whole thing depending on the kind of look that you're going for. So now that we've finished scratching back and as you can see there's some black residue from the paint but that's all dry so it shouldn't stick to your table so a cloth will wipe that away quite easily. Now you can see that our image has a lot of really nice texture in the background and the negative space that we've left which was the white paper is now black and creating that outline around the flowers so it's created a really nice bold look. So this technique gives the work an almost print-like quality, which really brings out the intensity of the colour from the oil pastel. That's all for this week, we'll see you next time.